Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This evening I need to do some serious cleaning in my kitchen, my bathroom, and my dining room. I have really been putting off things since the weather has been so bad here in Minnesota. All I kind of want to do is like watch Netflix and catch up on all my movies that I've been missing. So sit back and let's clean. First, I'm going to be taking the stuff out of the dishwasher. I did this like two days ago and hadn't emptied it. And then I'm going to put all my stuff away. And then we are going to get started. Let me know if you're like me. Do you have different size forks? I have small and then I have large. And I like to eat with the small ones better because they feel better in my hands. And then I have like a lot of them. So let me know if you guys do this or you only have one size fork. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. So change your heart. And then I also have a niece who calls me extra. She says I have too many like extra size plates. I love like tidbit plates, saucer plates, salad plates, regular plates. I think it makes me feel better to have all these different sizes and the weird thing is you guys I use them all. Like I love to put stuff on tidbit plates. Like how many people use tidbit plates? Oh my gosh, let me know if you're like me and you have this issue. I have way too many different size bowls and I use them all of the time. Oh, it's crazy, you guys. And also, T has his own cups on his side. We don't share cup space because I am too picky and I cannot share my cups. All my cups have to be together. He doesn't really care where his cups go. So his cups go on his side of the coffee pot and my cups go on my side. I have to keep it real, you guys. I cannot share my cupboard of a bunch of Mitch Match cups. And if you guys see me dancing, I am listening to some music. I need to move, y'all, when I am cleaning. And this does a really good job of helping me bounce around and clean with ease. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good it was to listen to music while you clean. I haven't done this in years. It was like so much fun. popcorn the other day and I don't know how all these kernels got in here but they did thank goodness the stopper in the sink caught them because I'd be so upset if all those kernels went down there so when I clean my sink I just use dish soap sometimes I use like a soft cleanser to scrub it and I use like a disinfectant if the garbage disposal gets stinky but I didn't have to do that this time but I really gave it a good sudsing and then cleaning to make sure that everything shined and buffed but I don't use anything exciting in the sink good old dish soap does the job you know we should work it out you know we should work it out before I'm too invested I should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you I do like to put 
put a couple drops down the garbage disposal of lemon essential oils. I love that fresh, clean smell like after you're cooking and you're cleaning the sink. It just freshens up the whole kitchen with a few drops down the garbage disposal. But we should take it slow. Work things out so you don't let me go. When I come real close, I don't want to get hurt. And I always wash my cutting board with hot soapy water. Wash it on both sides and then dry it thoroughly. You don't want to leave any moisture on your cutting board because bacteria will grow in there. So I always just dry it and make sure it's really dry and like the little grooves and everything. I don't even know why I was washing the sink so early on. I have so many other things I have to clean, like the cupboards, the stove. I end up just cleaning the sink all over again. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? Before I'm too invested, you should take it easy. Maybe we could test this and work out. I'm also listening to music on my iPad. I don't have an Alexis or any other of those devices. I do have my phone though. I could hook up to a speaker. You guys let me know what you use when you listen to music or do you just use like your TV and listen to your Pandora? I do that sometimes too. So let me know what you use. Here I'm cleaning the dog's treat containers. I put their milk bones and their treats in this. I try to hold it together. Keep it together Been playing it down But I'm so getting tired Now won't you meet high Cause I've been feeling Feeling that crazy And I need to lose control So baby put the record on Baby put the record on Hit it And I've been needing Needing that crazy And I gotta let it go So baby put the record on watching this lady at home with Nikki and on her website she makes these small dishcloth holders. I will put her link below so you can order one if you'd like one. But I'm gonna hold it together. This ain't forever. Need a shot and then a beat. Somewhere to let up some steam. I'm not the one to say never. Never say never.
I don't know when the last time I thoroughly washed this utensil jar out or Tafik's coffee pot, but it sure needed it. All these towels are on the floor because when the dogs come in, they need to wipe their feet. And we just kept them on the floor for a couple days because they're in and out so much and they don't track mud all over if we just kept the towels there. I love to use these Lysol disinfecting wipes when I clean the bathroom. I use those for the sink and around the toilet and I even wipe up the floor around the toilet with these. Everybody has their own thing that they like to use when they clean the bathroom and I just prefer these wipes. I feel like I need to have that disinfectant and I don't need to use a lot of different cleaners. Um, I just don't feel it's necessary, but I do like to use Windex or water and vinegar on my mirror. That's just what I prefer. And I'm really, I'm not knocking anybody for what they use. What you use is what you use and what you like is what you like. It's what you're comfortable with. So this is just what I'm comfortable with. So now I'm gonna go clean the shelves that are above my toilet. You guys, these were so filthy. I don't even know when the last time I cleaned the shelves above the toilet. It was so gross. Wait till I show you the wipes. Like you can't see it just by looking at it. Like I would take a dust cloth and kind of dust around there. But as soon as I took those wipes to it, ew, ick. I mean, you guys, it was so gross. That's not even bad. Wait till you see the top one. And then I tried to clear that, clean that glass mirror. Oh my gosh. I don't know when's the last time I cleaned that dang picture up there, but it was bad. I'm driving. on the shelves was filthy not the mirror the mirror wasn't filthy I clean that all the time just a picture on the shelves water so I have to use this bath and kitchen CLR I have to spray it in there leave it in there for a little while let it do its thing and then come back and clean it later if you guys have any other suggestions what to do with hard water stains please let me know but this is the only thing I can use right now I have tried bleach but it doesn't do as well this CLR is pretty good but if you have anything else that works please let me know you can't tell but I have this really small little toilet brush that I'm scrubbing with it's so tiny but my hands aren't getting wet or anything it's just a really small one and it works perfect and then I just let it soak because I gotta let that CLR do its thing Like a 
boss Love ain't got nothing on me, bad boy Running to catch you on my own, boy No love ain't got nothing on me, bad boy I didn't get a good shot, but Choppy had a ton of dog food underneath his mat. I really had to vacuum that up and a lot of sand too from the outside. <laughs> the funny thing is, you guys, about that blue pad around my chair, the minute I take that off, Choppy will lift his leg on this chair. This pad has been on this chair for like two months and he hasn't done a thing. But I'm telling you, as soon as I take it off, he will do the do. gonna wash the floors next I'm gonna take an old Swiffer Swiffer <laughs> excuse me mop and a micro cloth and I'm gonna attach it to it and then I'm gonna use my um, what is that that method floor cleaner that you don't have to do much to and just spray that on the floor it worked perfectly so you guys I'm almost done thanks for sticking around to the end of my video and if you have any suggestions about the hard water stains please let me know Please, please, please. But like I said, the CLR is doing good right now. But some people have some great tips. So thanks, you guys, for stopping by. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're not, thanks for stopping by. Please come back again. Don't forget, you guys, I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Until the next time, ta-ta. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. Slip into your dreams tonight oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me breaking